Want to take your workouts to the next level? The secret lies in understanding muscle hypertrophy. This isn't just about building bigger muscles, it's about unlocking your body's true potential. By understanding how muscle growth works, you can optimize your training to achieve remarkable results. Whether you're an athlete aiming for peak performance or someone looking to improve their physique, mastering hypertrophy is the key. Muscle hypertrophy is the process of increasing muscle size by stimulating the growth of muscle fibers. It's the foundation of building strength, power, and a more sculpted physique. When you engage in resistance training, you're creating microscopic tears in your muscle fibers. Your body responds to this damage by repairing and rebuilding these fibers, making them larger and stronger than before. This continuous cycle of damage and repair is what leads to visible muscle growth over time. The benefits of hypertrophy extend beyond aesthetics. Increased muscle mass enhances your metabolism, helping you burn more calories even at rest. It improves your overall strength and power, making everyday activities easier and enhancing your athletic performance. Moreover, building muscle can improve bone density, reduce the risk of injuries, and even enhance your mood and cognitive function. In the upcoming sections, we'll delve deeper into the science behind muscle hypertrophy, exploring the key factors that influence muscle growth and providing practical tips to maximize your training results. Get ready to unlock your full potential and embark on a journey towards a stronger, healthier you. To truly master muscle hypertrophy, we must first understand the science behind it. Muscle growth is a complex process involving various cellular mechanisms, but we can simplify it into key concepts. At its core, muscle growth occurs when the rate of muscle protein synthesis MPS, exceeds the rate of muscle protein breakdown MPB. MPS is the process of building new muscle proteins, while MPB refers to the breakdown of existing muscle proteins. When you engage in resistance training and consume adequate protein, you tip the balance in favor of MPS, creating an anabolic environment conducive to muscle growth. However, various factors influence this delicate balance, and understanding them is crucial for optimizing your results. One of the primary drivers of muscle protein synthesis is mechanical tension. When you lift weights, you're placing mechanical stress on your muscle fibers, signaling them to grow. This mechanical tension triggers a cascade of cellular events, activating signaling pathways that stimulate protein synthesis and muscle fiber growth. Another crucial factor is muscle damage. While often viewed negatively, controlled muscle damage from resistance training is essential for hypertrophy. When muscle fibers are damaged, your body initiates an inflammatory response that, while seemingly counterintuitive, is crucial for muscle repair and growth. This inflammatory response attracts immune cells to the damaged area, clearing debris and initiating the rebuilding process. Muscle protein synthesis, the driving force behind hypertrophy, relies heavily on the availability of amino acids, the building blocks of proteins. When you consume protein, your body breaks it down into individual amino acids, which are then used to build and repair muscle tissue. Essential amino acids, particularly leucine, play a crucial role in activating mTOR, a signaling pathway that regulates muscle protein synthesis. Leucine acts like a key, turning on the mTOR pathway and kickstarting the muscle building process. To maximize muscle protein synthesis, it's crucial to consume sufficient protein throughout the day, especially after workouts. Aim for a protein intake of around 1.6 to 2.2 grams per kilogram of body weight distributed evenly throughout your meals. High-quality protein sources like meat, poultry, fish, eggs, dairy, and legumes are excellent choices. Whey protein, a rapidly digested protein source, is particularly effective post-workout as it provides a rapid influx of amino acids to fuel muscle recovery and growth. While protein provides the building blocks for muscle growth, Carbohydrates and fats are essential for fueling your workouts and supporting overall recovery. Carbohydrates are your body's primary energy source, especially during high-intensity exercise. They replenish muscle glycogen stores, which are depleted during workouts, and provide energy for muscle contractions. Consuming adequate carbohydrates ensures you have the energy to train intensely and recover effectively. Fats, often demonized in the fitness world, play a crucial role in hormone production, cell membrane health, and nutrient absorption. Healthy fats, such as those found in avocados, nuts, seeds, and olive oil, are essential for overall health and should not be neglected. 
The ideal macronutrient ratio for muscle growth varies depending on individual factors, such as activity level, body composition goals, and dietary preferences. However, a good starting point is a diet comprising 40% carbohydrates, 30% protein, and 30% healthy fats. Section 5, Training for Hypertrophy Principles and Techniques Now that we've covered the nutritional foundations of muscle growth, let's delve into the training principles and techniques that optimize hypertrophy. Resistance training, involving the use of weights, resistance bands, or body weight, is the most effective way to stimulate muscle growth. The principle of progressive overload is paramount. This involves continually challenging your muscles by gradually increasing the weight, resistance, or repetitions over time. By consistently pushing your muscles beyond their comfort zone, you force them to adapt and grow stronger. Compound exercises which work for multiple muscle groups simultaneously should form the foundation of your training program. Exercises like squats, deadlifts, bench presses, and overhead presses engage large muscle groups, stimulating significant muscle protein synthesis and hormonal responses. Isolation exercises, targeting specific muscles, can be incorporated to address muscle imbalances or target specific areas for growth. However, prioritize compound movements for optimal overall muscle development. Section 6. Intensity. Pushing your muscles to the limit. Intensity, a crucial factor in muscle growth, refers to the effort exerted during a set. Lifting heavy weights for a lower number of repetitions, typically 6 to 12 reps, is generally considered optimal for maximizing mechanical tension and stimulating hypertrophy. Aim to lift weights that challenge you within the given rep range, reaching muscle fatigue by the last rep. Muscle fatigue refers to the point where you can no longer complete another repetition with proper form. Training to failure, while not always necessary, can be an effective strategy to maximize muscle fiber recruitment and stimulate growth. However, it's essential to employ this technique judiciously to avoid overtraining and potential injuries. Incorporate intensity techniques like drop sets, supersets, and rest pause sets to further challenge your muscles and promote growth. These techniques involve manipulating rest periods and rep ranges to increase the intensity and volume of your workouts. Section 7 Volume Finding the Sweet Spot for Growth Volume, referring to the total amount of work performed in a workout, is another crucial variable in hypertrophy. It's typically calculated by multiplying the number of sets, repetitions, and weight lifted. Finding the optimal training volume for muscle growth is crucial. Too little volume may not provide sufficient stimulus for growth, while excessive volume can lead to overtraining and hinder recovery. The ideal training volume varies depending on individual factors such as training experience, genetics, and recovery capacity. However, a good starting point is 10 to 20 sets per muscle group per week, distributed across 2 to 3 workouts. It's essential to listen to your body and adjust the training volume based on your recovery ability and progress. If you're consistently sore, fatigued, or experiencing plateaus, it might be necessary to reduce the volume or increase rest periods. Section 8. Rest and Recovery Essential for Muscle Repair While training provides the stimulus for muscle growth, rest and recovery are when the actual magic happens. During rest your body repairs the microscopic tears in muscle fibers, rebuilds them stronger, and replenishes energy stores. Adequate sleep is crucial for muscle recovery and growth. Aim for 7-9 to nine hours of quality sleep per night. During sleep your body releases growth hormone, a crucial hormone involved in tissue repair and muscle protein synthesis. Proper nutrition is equally important for recovery. Consuming a balanced diet with sufficient protein, carbohydrates, and healthy fats provides your body with the nutrients it needs to repair and rebuild muscle tissue. Active recovery involving low-intensity activities like walking, swimming, or yoga can promote blood flow, reduce muscle soreness, and aid in recovery. Incorporate active recovery days into your training program to optimize muscle repair and prepare for your next workout. Section 9. Conclusion, Your Journey to Muscle Growth Mastering muscle hypertrophy is a journey that requires understanding the science, dedication to training, and a commitment to proper nutrition and recovery. By implementing the principles and techniques outlined in this essay, you can optimize your workouts to unlock your full potential. Remember, muscle growth is a gradual process that requires patience and consistency. Don't get discouraged if you don't see results overnight. Stay dedicated to your training, nutrition, and recovery, and you'll reap the rewards of increased strength, improved physique, 
and enhanced overall well-being. Keep learning, keep experimenting, and keep pushing your limits. Your journey to muscle growth starts now.